wanna be ready when the hurt comes my way. I wanna be ready when the hurt story time comes situation two thousand and three. Uncle sets me up with a chick that he works with. I think nothing of it. Chocolate, she bad, okay. Go to her crib. Sitting there, we are enjoying each other's company. We're getting close, we're busting it up. All of a sudden, her phone rings about 10 times in about five minutes. I think nothing of it. Does it again. Now this time, about 20 times, 25 times in about 15 minutes. Now I'm looking at her like, yo, you wanna answer that? She gives me the, nah, I know who it is. You wanna let me know who it is? Our exact words is, oh, it's just my ex. We just broke up. You know, ain't about nothing. He just can't take no for an answer. And I'm like, you sure I should be over here? She say, yeah. We sitting there. We getting all hot and heavy. Start to kissing. Start to touching. Phone rings again, and it constantly keeps ringing. Now I'm looking at her like she's sideways. She finally answers the phone. First thing I hear from homeboy on the other end is, who you in the crib with? She goes, nobody, I'm in the crib by myself. Now I'm looking at her like she's sideways. Because why are you lying? If it's your ex, why don't you tell him the fucking truth? That you got another nigga in the house. All of a sudden, he goes, all right, well, if you ain't in the house, by you in the house by yourself. Come open the door. Her eyes got big as fucking a bubbled eyes bends. Like she just literally got in the... And you can see the fear come across. I've never seen somebody so chocolate turn so white so fast. When she did that, I stood up. I adjusted my clothes because, you know, my man, you know, you know, we was about to get a little hot and heavy. I had to adjust myself real quick. Literally adjusted my waistband and I pulled out the 45 that I had on me. Cocked one, put it in the chamber, took the safety off. And I told her, I put on my jacket. I said, let's go. And she looked at me, why you got that in my house? We're not playing these type of games. I'm not about to lose my life because you want to lie. When she opened the door, three of his boys came in. All three of them had teardrop tattoos on their face. When I had my burner out, they all knew what it was hitting for. Excuse me, I'm walking out the door. You talk to your woman. Listen, gentlemen, a lot of these chicks be gassing us up. Don't go to their crib if you ain't tooled up because it might be the last time. And a lot of them will put our freedom on the line because if something would've went off, everybody would've had to go because I can't leave no witnesses. So be careful if you're gonna be on the females' houses. Even when I drive out of state, that joint stay in the damn trunk. Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse 26. And I find more bitter than death, the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands Whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Kahalah, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakadash, Shalom to the elect and the remnant of the children of Israel. My name is Brother Daniel Allah from the prophets in Babylon. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone of Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing out this work with truly sincerity. Also, brought out to the Akwa for listening as well. As you've seen in this clip, a brother was explaining how he got into a predicament where he was dealing with a woman that he met through a family member and pretty much the woman wasn't telling the truth. You know, when she had those phone calls of her ex blowing up her phone saying that she didn't have no man in the house. Now there's many stories you know, and uh, uh, like many stories like this, and most people don't make it out alive, you know, especially here in America, you know, and that's also, it, it, well, it happens all over the world, man, you know, that uh, men get, you know, men get, in, men get in these predicaments to where they don't know if the woman's married or not, you know, because women nowadays are, uh, m most women nowadays are either dealing with their baby daddy or they're dealing with 
the husband but currently in, in the process of divorce or even they're splitting up so called and doing whatever that like doing whatever that they want you know and i've seen all these scenarios um where men and women split up and they you know have an adulterous lifestyle you know and i've seen that uh like at my workplace i've seen that uh, you know places that i work yeah like you know mainly at work in the past you know and uh people i went to uh church with you know I, I like i seen it all i seen it all you know and there's so many scenarios where the woman deceives the man and the man becomes jealous of uh of that man sleeping with his uh so-called significant other and he goes off of rage and and the man ends up being killed and sometimes even a woman ends up being killed as well you know so there's so many scenarios that men and women who get caught in a adulterous act get gets killed all right i'm gonna read this precept again this is a book of ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 26 and i far more bitter than death the woman all right because in the, in the book of Sirach it says through her we all die all right she was the first one that committed sin you know being Adam's uh, um, a rib um, helpmate and uh, deceived Adam by giving him the fruit of knowledge of, of, of good and evil and uh, in the Garden of Eden. So she was the first one that went off. And then that's why the world is is the way it is, full of sin, man. And I find more bitter than death. So, yeah, come on. And I find more bitter than death the woman. So women in this society nowadays, not just any woman, but the wickedness of a woman, the wickedness nature of a woman is more bitter than death, says King Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes. All right. And King Solomon was his, uh, was the wisest man on earth. And he knew. Who was the wicked and who was not, you know? He knew everything because the Lord gave him all the wisdom, you know? So he had time to study the things of, uh, of this world, the nature, you know, how things worked, the elements, etc. you know? And then, you know, he had time to study his wives, his concubines, like the nature of women. And he said, and I found more bitter than death, the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands who so pleaseth the most I shall escape from her. So women are sna the wickedness of the woman is snares and nets. All right. They can deceive you in any kind of way possible. All right. And they, you know, if you go on these YouTube channels, there's, there's literally women who are practicing witchcraft and women admitting that they practice witchcraft on men and how they deceive men and how they um, and how they uh, uh, control men by the way of, uh, you know, uh, their makeup and, you know, all this like, you know, all this foolishness, man, all this uh, evil practices that they do, you know, and also uh a well-known thing uh, that I knew from the past, like, you know, a sister told me that uh, that this woman that she met, she puts uh, her menstrual uh, blood within the spaghetti just so she can have control of the man. All right? That is absolutely disgusting, man. So, you, so nowadays, you can't just eat any food from anybody nowadays, man. You got to cook your own stuff, you know? You gotta cook your own stuff or you gotta go to a well-known restaurant to get your food man but you can't just but nowadays you like nowadays you can't just get your food from anybody nowadays man you gotta be really careful you know read it on whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her but the sinner shall be taken by her all right 
And if you're not protected by Yahweh Shemel Shai, then you're going to be taken by a wicked woman. All right? You're going to be taken by her, by her snares and nets, as you see in this picture. A woman, um, like you see this woman right here opening her legs wide open, but it had teeth, um, but it had sharp teeth and, uh, and a mouth. But I blurred it out because I didn't want to, uh, uh, like get in trouble for a, um, you know, um, like, you know, bad content in a way. So, so I blurred it out and that's pretty much, you know, and, um, that's pretty much how the society is, man. It's a very adulterous society full of adultery and adultery is, it has been put on a pedestal spe uh, very highly in these last days you know and, and how do women control men nowadays weak men by the way of their quiver all right by the way of their quiver man you know so by the cat and only weak men will fall into that type of mischief man when it comes to a pretty face you know, uh, a nice body, <laughs> you know, so a lot of men fall into those snares just because the woman has uh, uh, the quiver, man, just so they can, you know what I'm saying, uh, and they'll do all that they can to sweet talk that woman just so they can, like, get inside of her, man, but what, but that's when she has you, and when she has you like that, she can control you if you're not protected by the Lord. There's so many stories. Men go crazy for their woman, you know. And if a man looks at their woman a certain way, that man gets, uh, you know, absolutely jealous. Then he starts going crazy at that individual. And, and then whatever happens, it happens. But, you know, by that, by this, um, you know, by at the same time, like uh, in reality, she's probably talking to five different dudes while she's with you. And then when you're not around, she's probably sleeping with them, and you will never know until, until she gets caught. I seen I seen these type of stuff before, man. I seen it, uh, I, like I seen it all. You know, I seen, I seen the, I seen it through people that I, like I seen it through people that I used to be friends with. I seen it in the Christian church. I seen it at the workplace. I I seen it everywhere, man. And now everything is being exploited on the internet. So, not like you know, nowadays people have cell phones, you know, and they post it on the internet, man. So it's just it's just, it's just truly sad, you know. It's truly sad. Let me grab more precepts. Yeah, but a lot of people get killed, like killed uh, that way, man. You know. Imagine a hardworking dude, like providing for his woman, and he comes home to his woman. You know, finding another man sleeping with his woman, he's gonna snap. And it, and if he's truly emotional and he has a gun in the house, he's gonna end up shooting her and the man within the household, man, and probably end up killing himself. See wicked woman. Woman Porsche. It's a sad world, man. That's why a lot of people, a lot of people, especially the men of the Lord, choose to be by themselves until the Lord comes back and and then when the kingdom comes, man, like we're going to have clean, good, clean women, women that never been touched. You know, and that's coming soon, brothers. You know. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, known as Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 25, verse 19. OK, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. You see? All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. So all the wickedness in the world can't match up to the wickedness of the woman. 
and says, let the portion of the of a sinner fall upon her. So if you are out here sinning and not repenting, you're going to get caught into the snares and nets of a wicked woman. And she's going to lure you to her house. And then y'all going to be doing the, uh, you know, like doing the do. And then her man's going to walk in the house or a crazy ex or a crazy baby daddy going to walk in the house and he's going to smoke you. And then they're going to tag team and try to bury you somewhere out in the woods, six feet under. You know, there's so many stories like that, man. All right. Sirach 25 verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of the sinner fall upon her. You don't want to be that man that that's continuing to sin and not considering the Lord. And then you get caught uh, in the snare of a wickedness of a woman, of a wicked woman, man. You know, your life is going to be absolute crap. You know, your life is going to be terrible. I met, I met so many people with, you know, a woman with a pretty face, but she's ruining their lives. You know, she's she's ruining their lives and they're always stressed out. They're always stressed out. They're never happy. I barely seen them smiling, man. I seen it. I seen it, man. Don't get caught up in the beauty of a woman. This is the book of Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 26, verse, verse 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. Y'all watch me shy. So a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. So if the, uh, so if the man is wicked, so is the woman. But what? But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. So if you feel the Lord, the Lord's going to bless you with a godly woman. It goes hand in hand. It's a balance. The Lord's not going to send you a, a wicked woman for you to have. If you're wicked, she's going to be wicked. If you're godly, she's going to be godly. That's how the Lord works. I'm going to read it again. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 26. Verse 23, a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that fear the Lord. All right. So. Yeah, man. It's a dangerous game out here. That's why when you talk to women, you got to ask them if they're married or if they have a boyfriend or they're dealing with somebody. You got to ask them these questions because if you go ahead and go off your lust and then you go to her house and then you're going to see a man probably twice your size or, or probably or probably, you know, smaller than you. But he has a temper tantrum and he has a gun in the house. That's that's on you, man. You know, that's why you got to ask women these questions. And, and if they have a man. Or a, 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 a husband or a boyfriend, you leave them alone. Cause that is because if you go any further than that, that's adultery. All right. That is adultery, and that's and that's a uh, and that's a sin worthy of death. Just grab it from the law. All right. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife. All right. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. All right. So that's why it's in the spirit when a man is enraged, when he finds his woman sleeping with another man, he ends up killing them both. That's what happened in the ancient days. If a man caught his wife sleeping with another man, 
they were put to death by by the whole village. All right, by 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 stone, by stones, they'll be stoned to death by everyone within that uh, within that area, within that uh, within that zonal region of the ancient times. So. It's a spirit when a man does that, but nowadays it's not wise to do that. You know, it's not wise because what you'll go to prison for that. You know, you'll go to prison if you end up killing your uh, wife and that man who committed adultery. You know, that's why America must be destroyed. America promotes that very heavy out here, man. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has been pushing pushing that so heavy in these last days. All right? Job 9, 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. This place is so wicked, man. Prostitution is, is normalized and, and it's pure evil. Women here are getting worse. Men here are getting worse. You know, women becoming more masculine and men becoming more effeminate. But only a few men will be up like, you know, only a few men will will hold their masculinity, their true masculinity. All right. And there's only going to be a few women that's going to uh, hold their true, uh, you know, feminine nature. But everyone else is going to be completely destroyed. All right. And they're going to be taken away in their own wickedness, man. This place sucks. All right. This place sucks, man. You can't even get married anymore, man. The the, the divorce rate is 80 percent, main, mainly uh, by women. Divorcing their husbands. Suicide rates is going up as well. You know, of men. It, it's, it's wild out here, man. It's crazy. Stuff like this right here, you know, stories like that, especially the story of uh, uh, Joseph when he was uh, a helper for, you know, you know, for Pharaoh. While Pharaoh was gone, he was in like he was like, a, you know, he was in a room by himself. It's in the story of Genesis. And then Pharaoh's wife was laying in bed and said, lie with me. And Joseph was like, no, I can't do that. Like, out there, all the help that Pharaoh has, you know, you know, given me and he blessed me with this and that. Why would I do such a thing? And, and all she said was, you know, lie with me, sleep with me. And Joseph said no. And then she grabbed the garment of Joseph and she tried to force Joseph to sleep with her. And Joseph ran up, like, like ran away. And then she made up a lie saying that Joseph was trying to grape her, man. That's how wicked these women are nowadays. You got to be careful, man. If the Lord, if the Lord, uh, you know, if the Lord uh, made you single in this truth, he did it for a reason. All right. Later on, he's going to bless you with something far more great than these women here in this society. So just so just wait, brothers, especially of those who are of the elect, man. All right. So I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim Yashah, Bashim Till next time I say, Shalom.